So uh, guys, um, welcome to today's video. I'd appreciate it if you go watch yesterday's video, which was an election night of 2016 between Bernie Sanders from Vermont and c um, current president Donald Trump, who at the time was the Republican nominee. And of course, that scenario would be if Bernie Sanders won the Democratic nomination. But sticking on, so go check out yesterday's video. But sticking with today's video, um, today's video is a pre uh, my first Democratic presidential primary between uh, Vice President or former Vice President uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. As we know, Joe Biden would be more um, type of establishment candidate, more uh, moderate. Kamala Harris would be a somewhat more of a progressive candidate. And so again, uh, we, in my opinion, we actually won't give her her home state of California because she isn't, in my opinion, she, um, I've seen some of her uh, polls, etc. And she doesn't, she isn't doing uh, extraordinarily well. But we're going to give him, um, Joe Biden, most, or a couple of the states around his area. Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Again, he's from Delaware. He was born in Pennsylvania, he, um, Scranton, which is right next to um, with, um, um, New Jersey. So, currently, um, this will will be our current like um, map. Again, I can't do it exactly by electoral allocation, but just seeing Iowa, how unpredictable it is, and how they usually vote for the more. Um, the more uh, prog not progressive, but more establishment candidate. I'm gonna give this to Joe Biden again. Kamala Harris is a uh, somewhat progressive. We'll, we will give her um, Nevada, but a place where um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will essentially tie is, um, is not so. Okay. But um, in the South, because again, Kamala Harris is um, an African American, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So she will carry a good amount of these states. Um, around here the, the great south um and so we will give her north um actually no we're gonna give joe biden north carolina because again he's he, in my opinion he's, he'll do pretty well with the big cities the more um, moderate more conservative democrats so he will win more republican-esque states he will carry his former boss's uh home state uh illinois and he will carry Ohio because, in my opinion, he's going to do very well with Reagan Democrats. He's going to do very well with conservative Democrats. He's going to do well here in the, um, I forget what, what, where former steel um, factories were down here in the southern, on the West Virginia um, border of the Ohio. Do well here in the suburbs as well. So for that reason, we're going to give him, that's it, as well as Michigan. Because, again, essentially, he saved along with President Obama, the auto industry, which is essentially a huge part of the Rust Belt economy here. So for that reason, we're going to give him Michigan, we're going to give him Wisconsin too. And we're going to give, just for the benefit of the doubt, uh, Kamala Harris, she's going to get Minnesota because again, they vote for more of a uh, progressive candidate. We will give them, we will actually give her some of these um, states i think for some reason just montana will go blue south dakota also votes for the more establishment candidate as well as nebraska and the show me state of missouri which is usually a big um state i think we'll go to joe biden so you you're sort of starting to see the picture here um alaska will give her hawaii has many asians she's an asian i believe and so for that reason as you see again Kamala Harris is has um, Kamala Harris has the advantage um, not the advantage Joe Biden has the advantage currently, and so what um, will essentially decide is her home state of California, Texas, Florida, here in the Northeast, because essentially progressive voters, which in my opinion I'll just start giving some states away, will side with Kamala Harris. Will give um, Rhode Island to Joe Biden because he has a pretty good appeal there, um, because. She is a progressive. She's gonna do pretty well there, and so for. But I think Joe Biden is gonna do very well with the Latino voters. Again, they passed DACA, um, illegally or illegally, whichever um, your stance is on it. But I've not done this on purpose, actually. But I've left um, four states: California, Texas, Florida, and New York left because 
California again is her home state. She does well with Latino voters in her state. Texas has a huge Latino population, so again, that could, as well as Florida and New York. So, but Joe Biden also does pretty well with Latino voters. He does well with um, white voters again. Um, that's a big reason why the Obama coalition stuck together. Um, and they didn't lose white voters by such a huge margin in both 2008 and 2012. And giving the benefit of the doubt to Kamala Harris, we're going to give her her home state of California. And just because I believe that her home state advantage, again, she's somewhat popular in her home state. And again, um, she will get the women vote pretty convincingly. Not by as big of a margin she would like, but by a good enough margin. And though we're gonna give and what's ultimately gonna um, give this election to Joe Biden we're gonna give him Texas because we're giving him Texas because I believe on the basis of him doing very well in urban areas but not only in urban areas but in rural areas in this in the border counties where a lot of Latino voters are and I just think all around with non um, with more moderate and, and conservative people so for that reason we're gonna give him Texas we're also gonna give him Florida and New York so for that reason as you take a look Joe Biden does more does better in the Rust Belt does better in the central part of the country while Joe uh, well excuse me while Kamala Harris does better in New England the south and the west coast so this is my prediction Joe Biden wins the pres um, Democratic primary in 2020 these two were the main candidates again you could have other candidates that could split the vote that could essentially move um shake this race a lot but this is my prediction between these two candidates joe biden wins the democratic nomination and yeah so if you did enjoy this video please leave a like please comment down any suggestions for any presidential primaries or any type of videos um please subscribe please share this channel and i'll see you in the next video peace